Is that a fish? That's a fish. Ah, oh, good. It looks like a shad. There we go. Get up on here. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Nice shad from the kayak. Heck yeah. I'm out here doing some shad fishing, white perch fishing, and maybe some cat fishing and striper fishing. I was looking for some bait, but this big mama looks like she's got a whole bunch of eggs she probably needs to uh, let go of. So I might just go ahead and let her go as soon as I can get this hook out of her mouth here. And I'm gonna hit the thick, oh, I'm gonna hit the thing. I'm gonna hit the thing. Go away, go away. Or maybe I'll just use you. All right, enough photos of you, sir. Or madam, I should say, sorry. Nice. Very nice. All right, we're gonna start this video off with a fish, a nice, juicy, bully full of eggs female. Like I said, I'm out here shad fishing, white perch fishing. Maybe even uh, if I catch a male, I'll chop them up. Or if I catch a white perch, I'll chop them up and throw them out there. Unfortunately, it's low tide, but you know, you can't really control when you can go fishing. Sometimes you just gotta go and the water is just what it is. I'm about to get hung up in this tree, so one second. All right, so I've been out here for about 15, 20 minutes and I finally got that, uh, finally got that one. On a gold spoon, I used a chartreuse for a little bit. I ended up breaking it off. I even used a little, little crappy, um, little crappy jig, crappy magnet, excuse me, to try to catch a white perch to use as bait, but then nothing happened. <laughs> So let's see if we can get the gold spoon back out there, see if we can catch another shad, maybe a male, so we can get some bait. Just like the last time I was out here, I, I tried to go on the other side of this island, but it's so windy and the current is so fast, my dinky little kayak is just, just not cutting it. <laughs> so I'm over here where there's less wind and where I did catch the one shad a few hours ago. I gotta tie on another spoon and uh, see if something bites. That fish? That's a fish. That's a fish. What do we got? That's a kitty cat. Look at that. Look at that as a loud train goes by. All right, well, not exactly target species, but you know what? Now we have a multi-species day. We have a blue catfish here. You can tell by the flat, uh, the flatness of the anal fin right there. Little guy, they got a lot bigger in here. I was hoping to catch a shad or a white perch so I can catch bigger ones of you, little guy, but all right. All right, not gonna lie. It's kind of a miserable day. I went out here for four or five hours. I have a social engagement to go to, uh, so I gotta get, get out of here. Uh, this is not gonna be the end of the video. I think I'm just gonna come back tomorrow, maybe a different spot, I don't know. So to recap, got the one shad almost right away, and then a few hours later, got the blue catfish, which is cool. Hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit better for either perch or shad, but we will just have to wait and see tomorrow, so. For me, it's gonna be 24 hours. For you, it's gonna be now. All right, y'all, it is the next day. It is much nicer out, 61 degrees. Uh, water's actually looking clearer than it was yesterday, thank goodness. I came a little bit more prepared. I came also with some actual bait so I don't have to rely on me catching fresh bait. I got some chicken gizzards with me. That's worked out well for me in the past. So uh, if I don't catch any actual bait to try to catch some bigger catfish, then at least I got something. So let's get fishing. Here we are, trusty chicken gizzards. They're cheap, they work, and most importantly, they actually stay on the hook, unlike chicken livers, which is really hard. Let's just roll with that, see what happens. Ooh, got a takedown on the uh, chicken livers guy. Ah, that's a solid little blue right there. That's a solid blue. Get over here, friend.
gotcha. Chill, chill, chill. Ooh. There we go. Solid, solid way to start the day. See, let's give you a measurement on you, buddy. Chill out. I would say you're 22, 23 inches. Not too bad. Say hello. Say bye bye. Woo! Fantastic chicken gizzard for the win. Got a fish? Yeah, I'm, I'm a fish. Heck yeah. Oh, nice jump, nice jump. In the boat. Oh, no, 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 come on. In the net, in the net, in the net, in the net. Son of a gun. There we go. There we go. Fresh bait. There we go. First shad of today. And he's, uh, looks like a male. So that's better for us to keep, a little better. There you go, we'll take a look at him and then we'll uh, we'll get him out on that balloon out there. All right, there y'all. Nice juicy headpiece right there. Fresh bait, the freshest bait I think I've ever used. We'll let that sit out there. We'll see if we can catch another shad for fun. Oh my gosh. Something's got the big, big head. Something's got the big head. Oh, oh my God. Did you guys see that? Oh no. That was a good size catfish. That was a good size. I was just too late to, oh no, what happened was the hook kind of got messed up in the thing and I lost him. I wouldn't have been able to hook him anyways. All right, let's try that again. Come on, do I got you this time, you son of a bitch? Got you. Hey, whoa, all right, chill, bruh. Chill, 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 chill. Come on. Oh. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. All right, not a giant, but not too bad, right? Not too bad at all. Hopefully you can hear me over the running water. He went after the giant head, which I got back, so I'm gonna throw it back out there. Woo! You wanna weigh him for the heck of it? I haven't used my scale yet this year. All right, so my freaking uh, scale set itself to uh, kilograms, so it's 2.08 kilograms. I'll figure what that is later. Well, okay. I was trying to take a photo with him, but he decided he wanted to be back in the water. So there he goes. All right, as you can see, I have beached myself on this rock, which is a little bit easier when you're float fishing and trying to like regular fish at the same time, because it's so hard with the wind and the current to just like, it's blowing you all over the place. So you got to keep track of too many things. So I decided to come up here, uh, beach myself, and uh, turns out it was the right call. All right, so I just reeled in uh, my line. It turns out the big headpiece is gone, so I gotta put a new chunk on there, so. I was wondering why there was no bites.
Look at that. Oh. Big takedown, big takedown. Big takedown. Uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah. That is a solid fish right there. Gotcha. Oh boy, look at this. Big fish right here. Oh. <laughs> look at this. Oh, chill, chill, chill. Look at that beauty. Let's get a rough measurement here. He's about a 28 inch blue catfish, 28 inches. Five point one six kilograms. Chill, chill, I got you, buddy. Chill, 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 chill. Ah. You ready to go? Nice. All right, so I just went online and I found out that 5.16 kilograms is roughly 11 pounds. So pretty solid, it's gotta be, that might be the biggest fish of the year for me, yeah. Let's get this sucker back out there because they're eating it up today. There we go. This doesn't feel like too heavy. We'll see how it is when it gets over here. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little smaller. Just a tad bit smaller. We'll just use the net for you, I guess. Get back in there, get back in there. There we go, I'm just gonna let you go right here, right now. You are all scratched up, buddy. You are all sorts of scratched up. One last look at you. And you're off. Man, there ain't nothing like fresh bait, right? I mean, we all talk about fresh bait and how it's always the best. But, uh, I mean, here's the proof, right? <laughs> Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, this. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh boy. Nice, it's another nice one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Chill, chill. So this guy feels like he might be a little bit bigger, so let's Get him on the scale. 6.52 kilograms. 
There we go, 6.5 kilograms. I'll figure out exactly how much that is in a minute, but that is, uh... oh, sorry, you got some dirt on you. <laughs> but that's definitely more than that, that, that the other big one was. Whoa, I'm nearly falling over. Come on, give me back. Here you go. All right, fella, whenever you're ready. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, I just did the math. 6.5 kilograms is roughly 14 pounds, which felt right. <laughs> I don't really have any words except let's get another bait out there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I can't even get it out of the freaking. Oh. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This one has a huge wound on him. Uh, grippers, grippers, small grippers that might not even do anything against this guy. Oh. Ah. I got you. Oh my gosh. This is a good one. Holy shiznit. Come on, come on. Ah. ah, there we go. You earned your freedom. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh. Owie. Okay, well, he started to squirm away. I lost grip of him. I wanted to try to grab him before he fell into the water with my gripper in his mouth. Uh, so I took a little bit of a tumble myself. That's okay. You know what? I think I'm going to call it with that. This was a uh, very successful day. I didn't expect this weekend to go like this. I was expecting for more of a shad day than maybe a few, a few catfish, but uh, turned out to be the exact opposite. A really good catfishing day. <sighs> uh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I did the conversion. It's, it's uh, 17 pounds. You know, sometimes the fishing gods just smile down upon you, you know. You put in enough work, you put in enough grind, it pays off eventually. With that being said, thank you for watching. Hit that like and sub button if you would. Peace out. See you in the next fishing adventure.